hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video we are gonna make this beautiful website from scratch in just 15 minutes i will show you step by step process which you have to follow throughout your web making journey so first of all let me begin with showing you how this beautiful website looks and what does it offers so basically this is a e-commerce website and if i scroll down you can see here first we have this section here which i have made using inner section inside inner sections so how you can do that you can just watch a video i'll give this video in description and i button as well and then we have this beautiful layout here some featured products and special edition now if i go to my store i can see all of my products that i have mentioned in my website and it looks something like this now we have various categories like men's women's accessories so let's suppose if i click over accessories we have something like this and now we have here default sorting so if i want here to sort them by latest products so i can arrange them in that order too and we have here account if someone sign up to your website they can fill their login details here and they will be redirected to their account we have here a beautiful about section also in which you can showcase your team your team members and you can write few things about them also now we have a contact us page and if i click here you can see here we have this beautiful contact page now if someone type their name and fill these details here and send this message this will be sent to the author of the website and last but not the least we have here a beautiful cart option if i go to women section here and then if i choose any product for example this one here and i add it to cart you can see here we have these two items in our cart and if i want to see this i can just go to view cart here and if i want to remove them i can easily remove them also so it will be shown something like this i can decide their quantities and i can easily proceed to check out from here so this is the website which we are going to make from scratch and let me just show you how it's all done first of all you will need two things in order to start making a website first one is domain name and the second one is web hosting a domain name will act as a name for your website for example google.com google.com is a domain name of google in this way you will have a domain name and a web hosting is a place on various internet servers across the globe in which your data will be stored so anyone who will visit your site in future will be able to access that data that you have uploaded on your website so in order to get a domain name and a web hosting you can go to hosting.rohitnarwal.com so this is the landing page that i have created for three different web hosting brands so if you want to buy web hosting you can just go through my affiliate links you will not pay more but i will get some commission from these brand for sending you to their website and it will help me a lot to run this channel successfully so so let's suppose you want to buy hosting from hostinger and you are from india so what you can do you can just click here for india and then first of all let's change the country from here currently it's on us search here your country location in my case it's india so i'll go with india here and then what you can do you can just go to hosting here and if i click here we have shared web hosting so if i click here currently we have 70 percent off on web hosting plans in india so if we see here we have three different plans single web hosting premium web hosting and business web hosting so i will personally recommend you to either go with premium web hosting or business web hosting and if i go with premium web hosting for now let me just click here on add to cart then you will be redirected to this window you can see here we have few different plans for one month 12 24 and 48 months i will suggest you to go with 48 month plans because it's very much cheap for 48 months and it's only 119 rupees per month so if you buy for 12 months you it will cost you 229 rupees if you buy for one month so it will cost you 399 per month and after this first month you have to pay 399 per month for every upcoming months later on and here you can see if you buy it for 119 rupees per month you will be renewed 
at only 199 rupees per month after this tenure of 48 months so this is a good deal for now so if you want to choose a domain name here because you got a free domain you can see here you can directly choose here let's suppose we want to go with com extension and we want here a web domain like web blogs blogs dot com and if i search this you can see here it's showing that sorry the domain name this one is taken so you have to be more creative while choosing a domain name so let's suppose for example i want a domain name this one here and if it will be available then it will be shown something like this you can see here domain registration period for one year and now for one year it's free and if i want to choose its tenure for two years or three years i can also decide it here and after choosing my domain name what you need to do here you need to just go here and you need to proceed to check out and fill your login details here and you can see here we have few different variety of payment gateway available upi paytm credit and debit card google pay net banking etc i have already bought a domain name from hostinger so let me proceed further that what you have to do after buying a domain name and a web hosting so what you need to do after buying a domain name at a web hosting you need to go to the hostinger site for now i'm going with hostinger.in and then what you need to do you need to click here on login if i click here on login it will ask me for my details here email id and password so let me choose the email address and the password that i have already used before then you will be redirected to their edge panel and you can see here i have my domain name here and i have this domain name on premium web hosting after doing this what you need to do you need to go to hosting here in the main menu and we can see here we have this domain name webblogs.in in which we are going to work click over that and we need to scroll down and here we can see we have auto installers in website sections click over auto installer here and then you can see here we have wordpress over here so what you need to do you need to have a wordpress over your website in order to uh, do editing stuff in order to upload various things on your website and just click over select here choose the domain name here and then give your website a title so let's suppose i want to give it a title of web in 15 minute like this so it will be good just click over install once it get installed just hit over a new tab and type the url that you have bought for example here i have bought webblogs.in so let's see what happens you can see here this is my website title that i have just created web in 15 minutes and we have this hello world post in my home page so now if anyone type this url from across the globe they will reach to this website we are live now on internet so what we need to do we need to edit here in order to have a beautiful look of our website so how can we do that just hit over the website url and type here in front of your url slash wp admin so as you can see we are at the back end of our website and from here we can edit our website and make our website according to our wishes now if you want to see your website what you can do you will have your website title here just hover your cursor over your website title and you will see a visit site option so let me open this in a new tab and my website will be here so this is the front end of my website and if i go here this is the back end of my website now in order to have a beautiful website in just few minutes what you can do you can just directly go to appearances here and we have here theme section just click over themes and then just click over add new here you will have a search bar at the right just search here for astra a s t r a hit enter and you will have this beautiful astra theme so you need to install this theme here and then press on activate i have already installed it and now what i will do i will just click over activate and after activating this if i go to my website here and i refresh this page you can see my website look is now changed now what we need to do we need to install some few things here so in appearances here we have now an option called 
extra options so if i click here and if i go here we have here import starter templates and active importer plugins so if i click here then it will ask you for a website builder so we need to choose here elementor because it offers a wide range of opportunity to edit a website so let's suppose we want to have an e-commerce website so we can choose from here we have a lots and lots of option available here some pro version also and various free versions also so let's go with this one here because it's free and if i click here you can see here we have these few pages and let's suppose i want to install here only home page or only an about page so what we can do we can just click over here here we can see it's showing import home template so if i click over contact us it's showing import contact us template and if i click here it's showing import about template but for now i want to import this whole website so we can just click here import complete website and now it will ask you for a few things yes i'm a beginner and then this website is for me or my company just click over next it will ask you for your more information just give them your information and then just click over submit and start importing after importing just click over visit site and you can see here we have this beautiful website imported on our domain name and it looks something like this look at this how pretty this website is and if i go to store here we have a store here for various items available and now if i go to this page here the second one it's showing something like this if i want to sort them in let's suppose in order from high to low prices and you can see here we have this beautiful look over here now if i go to my about page here you can see here we have this beautiful about page and if i go to contact us we have this beautiful beautiful contact page so now the point is how you can edit few things if you want to so let's suppose you want to edit this part here what you can do and you will have an option called edit with elementor just click over here and your website will open in this manner so now let's suppose you want to edit this text over here just click over this text here and this window will appear in which you can edit this text so let's suppose i want to edit some few things over here let's suppose a b c so you can edit in this way similarly in this text also and if you want to edit this call to action rectangular in shape and i want to make it round so what you can do you can just click here go to style here and you will have here border radius just increase the border radius and you can see it's being round from all the corners so in this way you can edit few things here now let's suppose you want to have a background overlay over this header section so what you can do you can just click over here and if i go to style here and hide this part here we have a background overlay option you can decide the color of the overlay let's suppose i want to give it a red color so it can be done like this and you can also make it transparent depending upon your requirement so let's suppose i want to make it this much bright and this is how it works now we have this image at the background and you can see that this image is not moving so if you want to have a moving image so what you can do you can just go to this part here again and if i go to style here and you will have this image here below this image you will have this attachment and now it's on fixed so if i click here and if i select here scroll and now if i move this part here you can see this this image is also moving so let me change it to fixed again and now you can see it's not moving so this is how it will work after doing any editing in your website just make sure to hit over this update button so that it will be updated on your website as well and if you want to see this website on your tablet or mobile so what you can do you can just go to this part here at the bottom which says responsive mode so if i click here we have three different options tablet mobile and desktop so let's suppose i want to see my website on tablet so just hit over tablet and you can see here how your website will look on tablet 
similarly we have mobiles here so if i click here on mobile so this is how your website will look like on your mobile screen so that's pretty and that's good for now now let's suppose you want to make few changes over here you have this logo here you want to upload your own logo so how you can do that just go to customize here this black bar will appear only to you when you are logged in and it will not be shown to your visitors so you need to go to customize here and if i move my cursor here you can see these two blue pencil icons are now appearing so this one is for entire row this row and this one is for this logo if i click here you can see here we have this section here and from here we can change our logo so if i click here on change image you can directly drop a file here or rather what you can do you can go to your media library and you can select whatever logo you wish to have for example i want to have this one here and if i choose here this one so this is how it will look now in this manner you can have few different changes over your logo so let's suppose you want to make few changes over here also your menu section so if i click here you can see here we have this window if i go to design here and then if i go to menu hover style so zoom in so you can see here if i move my cursor here these or uh, these text are now zooming in as i am moving my cursor over them so after doing any kind of editing here you need to just click over publish otherwise it will not be updated on your website so make sure to update and publish each and everything that you have created here we have the bottom section and you can see here we are having copyright 2021 web in 15 minutes something like this and powered by web in 15 minutes so let's suppose i don't want to have this section here powered by web in 15 minutes so what we can do we can just click over this part here and then you will have this section first we have copyright and then we have html1 so we can just click over this and remove this section and now it's gone from here so we need to click over publish go back again and if i refresh this page you can see here if i move my cursor how these text are looking and now if i go down we don't have powered by web in 15 minutes here so this is how it will work and this is how you can configure your website according to your wishes and make your website much prettier and appealing so this is how you can have a beautiful wordpress website in just few minutes and also you can manipulate each and everything here in your website and design it according to your wishes according to your need so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing this channel to stay updated with more upcoming wordpress related content so that's it thank you so much